Our main reason for going to Taiwan was to attend Sean and Jesse's wedding in Taipei and to meet Jesse's family, our new in-laws. We had a few days to investigate Taipei before the wedding and afterwards some of us headed down to Hualien. Then Lindsay and I went further south to Chishang for a few days and finally back to Taipei. So it was two lovely weeks in Taiwan, a country I hadn't expected to visit. Not to be missed in Taipei are the night markets, bustling places, full of interesting and exotic foods and tasty treats. We sampled quite a few things we hadn't tried before, including at one stage cooked duck blood. We were all impressed with the Taipei Metro and how easy it is to use, how clean and well organized. We took a line south to Mao Kong Gondola and went up into the hills for afternoon tea. It was weird having a glass floor on a gondola. made a note to try stinky tofu some other time. There are several tea houses up in the hills. Ours was served with some nice snacks. Then it was into the shop next door to buy some speciality teas to take home. And back down on a gondola and train into the centre of the city getting glimpses of the famous Taipei 101 tower on the way. That evening, Jesse's parents treated us to an incredible meal at a local restaurant specializing in duck dishes. All the food was wonderful, even though we didn't always know what it was. This is something you don't see that often, a robot that collects dishes and takes them back to the kitchen. The next day, it was a trip to Geofen for some of us, while Jesse got ready for the wedding celebration. Geofen is a historic township in the mountains north of Taiwan, famous for its picturesque scenery, heritage buildings and lanterns. Once again, there were all sorts of interesting and new foods and snacks to try. Everything we had was so tasty.
the number one thing to do in Taipei is to visit the Taipei 101 Tower, which was once the tallest building in the world, but is now 11th on the list. And of course you get amazing views of Taipei from the surrounding area from the top. Another robot, this time acting as an assistant in one of the most amazing supermarkets I've ever been in. This is the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial. After the wedding celebration, four of us took the train to Hualien on the east coast of Taiwan Island. One of the attractions in this area is the Taroko Gorge, which turned out to be a very interesting day trip. The gorge, carved by the Liwu River, runs through limestone, marble and nice sedimentary rock, which has been lifted above sea level as the Philippine and Eurasian geological plates collide. There are still often small earthquakes in this area. This place, the Pine Garden in Hualien, has an interesting history. 
It was once the local Japanese military command center during World War II, and kamikaze pilots sometimes spent the last night there. At this point, Caro and Charlie went back to Taipei, and Lindsay and myself took the train to Chishang, further south in East Rift Valley. Shishang is an attractive and remote small town surrounded by rice fields. The rich volcanic soil makes the area perfect for growing top quality rice. The hotel provided free bicycles so we took advantage of these to investigate the local countryside, even though it was really warm in the sun. We cycled down the Brown Boulevard, given its name when a coffee company filmed a famous commercial there. Then an airline company filmed another commercial using popular Japanese Taiwanese actor Takeshi Kaneshiro. It featured him enjoying tea by a tree, which has since become known as Takeshi Kaneshiro Tree. Loads of Taiwanese tourists now go to the area. The next day we cycled to several temples. After an enjoyable stay in Chishang, it was time to catch the train back to Taipei. The Taiwanese trains are great, punctual, clean, fast and not expensive. So that was our two-week trip to Taiwan. Thanks for watching.